Hey everybody, this is Zach Efron, and this is a second lesson on uh, solving linear systems by the substitution method. Okay, so go ahead and look at the first lesson, uh, 7.2, the first lesson, and then this one will just kind of wrap things up right here. Okay, so solve each linear system using the substitution method. Alright, so here we have uh, y equals 2x plus 1, minus 1, sorry, and 2x plus y equals 3. Okay, right here, this, this is set up perfectly for the substitution method because here we have y equals this 2x minus 1. So I'm going to substitute that in for this y right here. Okay, and I think I color coded them red or blue, sorry. And then so that 2x minus 1 is going to go in for this little y right here. So it's going to be 2x plus 2x minus 1 equals 3. That's what I'm going to write down next. Okay. All right, so there it is right there, and then we're going to combine the 2x plus 2x, gives me 4x, and then you still have that minus 1 equals 3, and we're going to go ahead and add 1 to both sides, so 4x equals 4, so x equals 1, and then what you do with that x right there, where you had the y equals, just put that in for this x right here, okay, so then you're going to plug in 1 right there, and you get um, uh, y equals 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, your ordered pairs, always write them. X goes first, Y goes second. They're both the same, but uh, uh, X is always first and Y is always second. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Okay, this time it's uh, X equals 16 minus 4Y. So what I'm going to do is plug in that X for the X in the second equation, right next to that 3 right there. Okay, so let's see. Did I color code these guys red? Nope, they're blue also. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to plug in that 16 minus 4y right there for this x right here, okay? So, but it's three times that, so I'm going to put parentheses around the 16 minus 4y. And then now, you remember the distributive property? 3 times 16, and then uh, minus that 3 times 4y, and it's minus because that's a minus right there. This minus is just this minus right here. So I distributed this 3 through the parentheses right there, okay? And then let's go ahead and add the rest of that, so plus 4y equals 8. Okay, 3 times 16 is 48. 3 times 4y is 12y, so 48 minus 12y plus 4y equals 8. Okay, got to combine these like terms. Be careful, I'm getting a lot of students still getting lost with the negatives. This is negative 12y. Think of it, minus 12y is the same as negative 12y. So negative 12y plus 4y is negative 8y. Okay, so uh, that becomes negative 8y. All right, now I'm going to subtract off that 48 over there. All right, now this, remember this negative goes with the 8y. It doesn't go with the 48. It goes with the thing uh, to the right of that, so it's the 8y. All right, so when I subtract uh, 48, 8 minus 48 is negative 40. And you still have the negative in front of the 8y, so now we're going to divide both sides by the negative 8 to get y all by itself, and we get y equals 5. Okay, so now y equals 5, I'm going to plug it right back up here for this y right here, because then that's going to get me my x equals here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to plug in y equals 5 right there, so 16 minus 4 times 5, and 4 times 5 is 20. And you get uh, 16 minus uh, 20 is negative 4. There goes my phone. I'll have to get it later. I'm almost done with this. All right, so I get uh, negative 4 comma 5. All right. Uh, so here, let's try another one. x plus y equals uh, equals 0, and then x minus 2y equals 6. All right, so now here I don't have x equals or y equals, and you can take, let's see, I could, there's a 1x right there, there's a 1y right there, there's a 1x right there, there's a 2y right there. Well, I don't want to solve for that 2y because I've got to divide out. What I'm going to do is take this top equation right here and just slide it over right there. And I'm going to subtract off that y on both sides. Now I have x equals negative y. 0 minus y is negative y. And then I'm going to take that x and put it into the other x right there. So I'm going to plug in negative y right there with this other x. Okay, so we're substituting that in. All right, so then we have negative y minus 2y equals 6. All right, so that's negative 3y equals 6. And then we're going to divide by... Uh, negative 3, and we get y equals negative 2. Okay, then I'm going to plug in negative 2 right here, so it's going to be negative negative 2, which hopefully by now you guys know that that's going to be a positive 2. Okay, x always comes first, so it's going to be 2 comma negative 2. All right, let's try one more. 
Okay, so 11x minus 7y equals negative 14, and x minus 2y equals negative 4. Okay, I'm certainly not going to solve for this x because it has 11 in front of it, and neither this y. I'm going to solve right here for this x. It's easy because I can just go plus 2y and get it over to the other side. So here we go, slide it over there. I'm going to add 2y to both sides. Okay, so I get um, uh, x equals 2y minus 4. All right, now I'm going to plug that x equals 2y minus 4 in for um, uh, this x in the top equation. Because we solve for x in the bottom equation. Okay, so we're going to plug it into the top equation. You always have to put it into the second equation, or, or the other equation. Okay, so it's going to go right up into that uh, x right there. Here we go, so 11 times 2y minus 4. Oops, I did two things at once right there. I substituted in, now I'm going to distribute that 11 through. Okay, so 11 times 4, and then don't forget the rest of the stuff, minus 7y equals uh, negative 14. So 22y minus 44 minus 7y equals negative 14. Almost done. Okay, 22 minus 7 is 15, so 15y minus 44. I'm going to add 44 to both sides. And watch out, you guys. Watch for the negatives. Negative 14 plus 44 is 30, so y equals 2. Okay, and then y is going to go right there. Okay, y equals 2. So 2 times 2 minus 4 is 4 minus 4, or 0. So you get uh, 0, 0,2. Remember, x always comes first.